there's a lot of 3D printers on the market, a lot of uh, 3D printers here at CES, but I'm talking to Braden Moreno from Robo3D who says they, they're doing something even cooler than everybody else. Yeah, we, the first year, this is our third year at CES, the first year there's probably about 25 companies in the whole 3D printing section. Now there's over 180 companies in the 3D printing section. So for us, it's like, how do we differentiate? And what we've been spending a lot of time on, especially within the retail environment, is bringing content to consumers, use cases, things that open their mind to what they can actually do with the product. So That's actually a really good idea because there's a lot of stuff where I'm going, yeah, it sounds really cool, but I don't know what I would do. Yeah, most definitely. And that's, you know, the most common question we get is what can I do with it? And, you know, unfortunately, most people don't. I, I like when people are like, oh, my God, there's so many things I can do with it rather than what can I do with it. But we don't all have imagination, so don't make fun of us. Yeah, that's the world we live in right now. So for us, it's, okay, how do we open their minds up to it? And the only logical way was to make these kits. And these kits are things like the one we have here is a, a build your own guitar. And an entire guitar. An entire guitar. It comes with all the hardware inside. I'll open it up for you here. So it comes with everything you need. On here is instructions on how to make it. It comes with all the files you need, so you can download all the files and you can print it in any color you want. You can add your name to it, anything like that. So what, what we're looking for the audio listeners is, there. what are the things called the tighten the wires? What's that? What, what are these called that you tighten the wires? Uh, I'm blanking on the name or, of it, yeah. Well, those things that yeah. you tighten the wires. It's got those, and then these are the... Uh, tuners, the, the tuners. Tuners, these tuners, are the yeah. strings themselves, yeah, strings, right? and it comes and with a little pick. pick. And other yeah. than that, it's the instructions. All and the you files. Said, you said you, you lay this out like a, uh, a twister mat on your floor? Yeah, it has a big poster in there, and it shows you, it's a big image that shows you each piece broken down. And then when you actually download all the files, you can reference them and go, okay, well, I want maybe a yellow top with a black, you know, frame, whatever want it to be. So, so. You, you have to buy your own filament, right? Yes. And you said a, a, a thing of filament is about 30 bucks and this doesn't even use an entire one to exactly. make a guitar. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. So, How does yeah. it sound? What's that? How oh, does it, it sounds sound? good. We ha actually just made one out of a wood infused plastic that we print with. So it's actually wood infused in a PLA plastic, which is a biodegradable material. Um, we have one here. And I actually sanded it and stained it, so it's actually a really, really cool guitar, and it sounds fantastic. I'm holding a, uh, a little lion that looks like he's made out of wood. Yes, he is. Yeah, wooden, wood plastic, but you get a lot of the properties of wood. And yeah, the texture, it feels like wood. Yeah, yeah. Balsa wood, maybe, but it feels yeah, like yeah. it. So show me the even cooler kit you've got. And so this kit right here is actually what we are planning to include with every 3D printer purchase in 2016. Why we want to do this is we've been thinking, okay, how do we get involved with kids because kids love 3D printing. And so we're like, oh, do we go donate to a charity for every 3D printer purchase? It just didn't make sense to us. That wasn't the thing we wanted to do. So including these in every box. Say what it is you're holding. Oh yeah, we're holding a prosthetic limb 3D print kit. So this is kind of based on how our story we were building prosthetics when we got started. This gives people right out of the box an opportunity to print a prosthetic limb. It comes with all the hardware, and then they can go and donate that to a kid around the world and join the Enable community. Oh has over 7,000 members. They yeah. give me chills. Yeah. Let's see what's inside that kit. Yeah, so, well, actually, so the hardware is not inside of it, oh, but okay. we just have it kind of built out here wow. um, as a prototype. But these will be coming, I would say, around end of February. This looks like the ones I've seen other places. Is this a, an open source design? It is an open source design and actually the most popular and most requested by children that are in need of a prosthetic, so. Wow, yeah. that is so cool. So let's, uh, now that we've had all that fun, tell us yeah. really quickly about the, the two models we have here. Yeah, so when we were building, this is our first model right here that we built, it's called the R1 Plus. This has been our staple product that we sold in all over the world. And we realized when we built this and we started giving it to consumers that they needed, they wanted more. So we then built this version, which is called R2. It's been in the works for about a year and a half. Year and a half. It's really everything we ever wanted to include in a 3D printer. So we had a, a list. We had our must-haves, our wants, and our wishes. And this we is everything. And we got it all in, down to the bottom of the wishes, which we didn't think we were going to do. So I mean, when you talk about 3D printer users, everything is in this machine at a phenomenal price. Now you said that uh, that people who do this maker stuff really like to mess with it. So you 
you'd let them mess with it, right? 100%. We're open source right now, so you can print with, we have over 15 different materials right here that you can make with, wood infused, bronze infused plastic, copper, I mean, there's all sorts of materials. You said you can, you can even change the parts inside the machine. Yep. The way this one is built, the extruders right here, you can actually pop them out and you can put like paste extruders on or food extruders, things that will actually deposit, you know, different materials. So it gives people that option. And then you've got the R2 Mini in the middle? Yeah, so this is the baby of the R2, if you will. This will be at a much lower price point. It'll have slightly less features, but still a lot of the same functionality in terms of speed, the ability to print directly from the machine, things like that. So how much are you looking at? What kind of price are we talking about here? We have it at a sub-1,000 price point. I know that doesn't give you much, but it, we're, it's probably going to hopefully be in the five to $700 range. And uh, about when is that going to come out? Uh, I think around May time frame. All right, this is really cool. So how can people find more about Robo3D? Yeah, you just go to Robo3D.com. You'll find all our information there. And uh, yeah. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Brayden. Good work. Appreciate it.